Welcome back to the News at 10. Let's take a couple of stories before we go to business. The Minister of Interior, Comrade Abba Moro, has commissioned Newi Prison, bringing the number of prisons in Anambra State to four. During the occasion, the minister said the new prison with modern facilities will ameliorate the increasing prison congestion in the country, as well as facilitate the primary objective of reformation, rehabilitation and reintegration of prisoners. The Anambra State Governor also promised to ensure that the prison is upgraded with necessary infrastructure that would improve the condition of prisoners in, in Newi. A federal high court in Abuja has mandated Mr. Emeka Ofo, the chairman of Chrome Group of Companies, to show cause within seven days why the court should not hear an application for interim injunction filed by the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, against him and his company. Ruling on an ex parte application filed by the NDIC, Justice Gabriel Kolawale ordered that a buyer's beware notice be placed on all assets and properties of Chrome Group pending the determination of the suit. The court has adjourned hearing in the suit to the 16th of June for consideration of the prayers being sought by the applicant. The legal battle for the recovery of over 9 billion naira allegedly owed the defunct African Express Bank by Mr. Emeka Ofo and Chrome Group of Companies shifted to the Federal High Court in Abuja as the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation filed an application for an order of interim injunction against the debtor. The corporation, acting as liquidator for the defunct bank, asked the court to grant an order of interim injunction, restraining the debtors from disposing or transferring any of their assets, movable or immovable, including 100 million naira stocks held by Chrome Energy in Environmental Remediation Holding Corporation. In a ruling that lasted about an hour, Justice Gabriel Kolawale ordered Mr. Ofo and Chrome Group of Companies to show cause within seven days why the request of the applicants should not be granted. The court also ordered the bankers of Mr. Ofo and Chrome Group to place all their accounts on close watch and report suspicious transactions aimed at dissipating the said accounts to the Central Bank of Nigeria. Although all the prayers of the applicants were not granted, the lawyer representing the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation said he was satisfied with the ruling of the court. Chrome Group has made a lot of promises in the course of over seven years since I was briefed in 2007. Uh, they have made pledges, they have made promises, they have gone for concessions. All these were given and indulged by NDIC, but he never fulfilled them. That is why it has taken this long for us to come to court. I am happy with the limited uh, release granted because while we didn't get the Mariva injunction as couched in our prayers, the court granted us caution to be placed in respect of all assets of the defendants and in the respect of the bank accounts of the defendants. So I think it's a victory for us. The Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation is seeking to recover 9.2 billion naira owed by Mr. Ofo, Chrome Oil Services Limited, Chrome Consortium Nigeria Limited, and Chofan Communications Limited. Other debtors include Nimec Investment Limited, Dextron Engineering Limited, Atlantic Engineering Construction Company Limited, and Chrome Engineering LLC. Hello and welcome to Business News. I am Adeshawa Josh. The federal government plans to raise 70 billion naira in three and 10 year bonds at an auction next week. According to the Debts Management Office, it will issue 35 billion naira each in the papers, which will have maturities in August 2016 and March 2024, respectively. The first bank, Big Splash Promo, has produced three more winners of a brand new Toyota Corolla cars. The winners, who were selected in a third quarterly draw of the Bonanza in May, now have their prizes presented to them across the country. Our correspondent, Temple Ashaju, reports. 
The first bank big splash promo was initiated in July 2013 to celebrate the 120th anniversary of the oldest bank in Nigeria. 9,000 winners have so far emerged from the promo, which targets customers in different account categories. It's the fifth edition, and uh, this has been ongoing since 2008. As a date, the bank had rewarded over 9,000 customers with various gift items ranging from cars, Prado, Jeep, SUVs, household items like refrigerator, and all of that. It looks like any other normal day at the Ikeja Industrial Estate branch, where the lucky customer was invited to pick up his brand new car. When they announced to me that, uh, is that Mr. Dairo? And I said yes, and uh, the person said, you have won a car. I said, what? Won a car? I thought, you know, maybe it's a scam. I just called the phone. So they called me back again, and uh, the person said, is that Mr. Dairo Adiola Lubenga? Yes. You have an account with First Bank? I said, yes. He said, Who's your I mean, where's your branch? And I said, Obakran. Oh, I said, you've won yourself a car. I was just screaming, like, what? And I told my brother that we need to go to Obakran right now to go and verify, because I wasn't even aware of the promo. Until when I got into the banking and I saw the poster, I knew it was real. And I told my brother, I said, this is real. It's only cost him 60,000 Naira in his savings account to win this car. He left his 66,000 Naira for just 90 days in his savings account. The promo has actually been extended to December to allow more customers to win. And um, the grand finale for this program, it's actually to give out a detached brand new house. The promo produces 360 winners from its bi-monthly draw, and in the quarterly draw, three lucky customers drive home brand new cars. At the grand finale, one customer is expected to win a four-bedroom terrace house in Lekki. Also, FCMB Group PLC has posted a 7.5% dividend yield on its share price after its shareholders approved a 30 couple per ordinary share dividend for the year ended December 31st, 2013. At its annual general meeting, which held in Lagos today, the group also revealed that it has recorded a milestone of total asset of over a trillion naira and profit of the tax of 16 billion naira. It's been over a year since the existence of the FCMB Group PLC. Acknowledging the present. Today, its board and management turned up at the Shell Hall of the Muzon Center in Lagos to present its scorecard to shareholders. I therefore took the resolution to the meeting and would all those in favor please signify by raising their hands. In the year on the review, FCMB Group reported significant development in key operating areas, where its total assets grew 11% to 1 trillion naira. Deposits grew by 26% to 451 billion naira. And net interest grew by 30% to 56 billion naira. We believe over the next few years you'll see our deposit base steadily rise over a trillion naira. The balance sheet is already over a trillion. Uh, our return on equity will steadily climb to over 20 percent. Um, and you'll also see our customer base double in the next three years to about four million customers. With all that being said and done, we expect that the dividend history, uh, the dividend forecast will continue to be strong and the earnings will rise very steadily. Shareholders applaud the dividend payout of 30 kubo per ordinary share and are looking forward to improved figures in the years ahead. It's another remarkable to us, we shareholders, and I hope by next year they will improve the dividend from 30 kubo to, to even 50 kubo. What we are promising is consistency, sustainability of performance, and keeping up as a very responsible corporate citizen. Delivering not just to shareholders but to other st stakeholders. Going forward, the board and management has pledged the company's commitment to effective corporate governance, value creation, and the application of effective risk management principles. Henry Ogunjimi, Channels Television News. Finally, on business news tonight, the equities market ended trading in the negative territory as the all share index shed 0.1%. Temple Lashaju tells us more. Hello and welcome to the Stock Market Report. 
Continued sell pressure at the equities market pushed key indicators further south on the last trading day for the week. The All Share Index lost 0.10% to end Friday's session at 41,529.11 points. Market capitalization also dropped 13.71 trillion naira, and leading the pack of losers was Lafarge Wapko, which shed 7 naira 71 kobo. Nigerian breweries and Ashaka Cement also lost 4 naira 80 kobo and 1 naira 59 kobo, respectively. On the gainers list, Cadbury led with a 2 naira 45 kobo price increase, and followed by that was the corn oil as well as Oandu. Portland Paints, Transco, and UBA were the most actively traded stocks for the day. At the end of the day's session, 245 billion shares has been exchanged by investors in 4,742 deals for 2.89 billion naira. And that's it on the stock market report. I am Temple Ashaju. Thanks a lot, Temple. And that's business news tonight. The news at 10 continues in a moment. Next on the news at 10, defending champion Rafael Nadal sets up a much-awaited French Open showdown against bitter rival Novak Djokovic. Well, that's on Sports News, so do stay with us.